Hey, what's up guys? So, I have spent the last couple of days grinding some normal games in Dark and Darker. The reason for this is because the brand new feature that recently came out where you can only wear rare gear and below in normal games, which is, in my opinion, insane, and I absolutely love it. The reason for this is because rare gear and green gear are now a lot more important, and it's a lot more fun finding green and blue gear than it was before now blue gear is the perfect area for a gear cutoff point the reason for this is so that you could have a cape and all blue gear blue cape blue armor blue rings blue weapon etc so this now gives us the option to make a god set for normal games and a god set for high roller games and on top of that it's gonna make high roller games a lot more popular giving that itch to those players who've been craving some more god pvp i think it's gonna make high roller a lot more intense and hard but that's the point for the risk and the loot now my biggest problem when it comes to high roller is that crips has a three man for high roller and goblin caves has a solo high roller but runes does not have high roller at all which is a massive problem that is what darker darker is missing the most at this moment in my opinion because if they had runes high roller i think it would make the game a lot more balanced and a lot more fun for those duos i myself play a lot of duos so maybe that's just me on top of all this i do want to mention that the drop rates have been lowered meaning that finding green and blue gear is not as common making it a little bit more rare and in my opinion also more balanced with all these new updates i think finding green and blue gear is going to be pretty massive now i do want to mention i did grab this rapier which rapiers are selling for a pretty decent amount of gold pretty much always so if you get a green rapier with a decent roll on it make sure you grab it or blue purple and above also this footage is an amazing example of raw footage of me getting an amazing run in and only seven minutes which is is crazy this is a unedited raw footage of an amazing run i got first time trying this is pretty much what i get every single run except for some rings that i got which is a little unusual but maybe i usually find like one ring or every other game a piece of jewelry but you can pretty much expect to make this much money and earn this much gold i'm super excited for all the kits to run and also getting a full blue kits is only like a thousand gold which makes pvping a lot more fun in normal caves so I've been pretty much running full blue sets in normal caves a lot and it's been a lot of fun I've been getting to a lot of fights with other people who are fully kitted blue and normal caves are starting to be a lot funner And I'm sure high roller caves are literally the exact same thing a lot of pvp a lot of fun and a lot of action Now something else that I have also noticed is how much blue gear is selling for now because blue gear is the cap on normal games A lot of people are paying a lot more money for blue gear than purple gear So I very much urge you to be careful how much you are selling your good rolls on blue gear for now because a lot of people don't even like playing high roller they like sticking to normals you got to be careful how much you sell your blue gear for because they might start being more worth than purple and legendary gear i've been pretty much selling my god blue rolls for 500 gold 400 gold 300 gold 200 gold which is a lot of money for gear right now and honestly kind of crazy how much blue and green gear are selling for all right now let's hop into some of this footage where i'm doing already pretty freaking good we have two rings a blue pair of pants and we're gonna get out of this game with pretty much an entire set which is pretty crazy to think about we walked in with nothing and now going to get out of this game with a full set of armor so this is definitely something that you could build off of and make a lot of money with which is exactly what I like to do. I like to get one big game and build off of that. So if you notice, I constantly keep moving. I looted the best room or one of the best rooms in the goblin caves and continued. It was a good spawn, a lucky spawn, but there is better rooms with better loot in the goblin caves and also mini bosses that are super easy to deal with. I don't have any videos on them, but I would highly recommend doing mini bosses. So I do get some more gold valuables here and I'm going to go ahead and push this next room. The next room isn't anything crazy to be completely honest, but I'm just constantly moving, constantly looting. And this is how to make the maximum amount of money. So I'm going to clear this goblins and start looting the chest behind. And at this point, we're already fully kitted. Being a full kit in the new updated normal caves where rare gear is the highest gear you can get. This is actually a massive advantage over a lot of players now. So I'm pretty happy with the gear set that we already have running. 
and it's only going to get better from here on out. So we're pretty much almost a full inventory of loots right here. And this is going to make us a lot of money. This game was actually a pretty stacked run. We made a lot of money and I could have probably made more if I sold the gear, to be honest. So honestly, getting sets like this is a lot of fun now. And that's exactly why I'm loving this update, man. I don't know if you guys are loving it as much as I am, but let me know what you guys are thinking about this update. Are you enjoying it? Are you having fun? Is it worth playing to you? Or do you prefer what we had before? Do you prefer the old sets? Do you prefer having purples in normal games and golds in normal games? Do you think blue is the right choice? Let me know what you guys think. We do get a clarity potion, which is absolutely amazing. And a heavy chest. Heavy chest and ornament chest have been absolutely massive here. We get a green mace, which is crazy. And actually, we very much needed this. So now we have the damage, now we have the gear, now we have the rings. This is a beautiful start to a beautiful set. And honestly, this is just one game. I literally hopped into one game and I am walking out with a full kit, no fights, just absolutely just looting and it is great. Now I seem to not be able to hit this pot for some reason and I actually get headshotted right after by this archer. And this brings me the shield. If you do not use shields, please use it. I see a lot of people not using shields. I know I'm not the only one who used to troll and not use their shield. But thankfully, I do use my shield now. And for all the chads who were actually already using the shield, good for you. You were playing the game correctly. I was definitely not. <laughs> but there is a portal right in front of us. And this is really big. I actually want to take this portal because we've already gotten a lot of amazing loot. And I'm honestly just going to take the win this is a super easy game and very easy to build off of we could just get out and get some potions and come back and we're just gonna grab this last chest and get out it was a very amazing run we got a lot of great stuff and last but not least we get a good pair of gloves some greens and we are fully kitted just like that guys that is the brand new update we're making a lot of money let me know what you guys think about this update in the comments below. We did sell all of our gold valuables and sell our rapier for 50 gold, making us a total of 205 gold and a full gear set. Hope you guys enjoyed. And for now, guys, I'll see you guys in the dungeon.